In this video, I'm going to show you how to hook up triggers to the BooBox 4's Trigger 1 and Trigger 2 contacts. Triggers are what you use to trigger the BooBox to start playing its scene. Triggers can be everything from a simple push button, a motion sensor that detects body heat, step mats that are activated when somebody steps on the mat, and beam sensors, which reflect a beam across the room to a reflector, and when the beam is broken, it sets off the BooBox 4. The BooBox 4 requires a small jumper to be placed from the 12 volt terminal to pin number 1 of the trigger that you want to use. In this case, I'm going to put the jumper over to trigger 1. The simplest way to trigger the BooBox 4 at this point is to place a jumper into ground and terminal 2 of input 1. This will cause the scene to continually play and loop. Next I'm going to hook up the push button trigger to input number one. One of the wires on the trigger, it doesn't matter which, goes into the ground terminal. And the other goes into the second pin of input number one. Now when I push the button, it's going to play the scene number one. Now when using a Fright Props motion sensor, you hook the black and the white into the ground terminal, the red into where your jumper is on the 12 volt terminal, and the green is going to go to the second pin on input number one. It takes about two minutes for the motion sensor to calibrate and be ready to detect motion. Once it's ready, any motion near it will set it off and cause the scene to play. Hooking up a step mat is exactly the same as hooking up a hand trigger. One of the wires on the step mat, it doesn't matter which, goes into ground, and the other wire goes into pin number two, And now whenever somebody steps on the mat, or you squeeze it with your hands, it's going to play back the program. When using the Fright Props beam sensor, white and brown on the beam sensor's cable are going to go into ground. Blue is going to go into 12V along with your jumper. and black is going to go into the second pin of input number one trigger. You now set it across from its reflector. It'll be activated when you break the beam. Everything I've shown you so far has been using input trigger number one to trigger scene number one. If you want to use trigger number two to trigger scene number two, all you do is take a jumper from 12 volt and put it over to the first pin of trigger number two. All of the same activators that I was showing you before for trigger number one will also work with number two. Here I'll hook up the push button to ground and then terminal number two of input number two. And when I push the push button this time, it activates scene number two. If you want to activate both scene number one and scene number two with a trigger, you hook the jumper to 12 volt and to pin number one of trigger number one, and also 12 volt and pin number one of trigger two. You can then hook up your two triggers, both to ground and to the second pin 
of each trigger. So now I have one trigger for input trigger one or scene one. and one trigger for input two or scene two. All of the triggers I've shown you operate on the concept of normally open. That is the circuit is normally open until it's activated and it closes the circuit. You can use sensors that are normally closed such as those used with alarm systems. Using these normally closed triggers requires a setting be changed inside the Boo Box 4. This setting is covered in the manual. That concludes this video series on the BooBox 4 controller. Please refer to the FrightProps website and the manual that comes with the BooBox 4 for many other features and advanced settings.